How's the Norton 360 for gamers demo? Oh, I've actually been using that for a while now. I'm uh, testing it out. Seeing if I like it, seeing if it affects performance, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, that kind of stuff. Did I try the They Always Run demo? No, not yet. Not yet. Bear and breakfast. Okay. Got that Norton demo in the PC Gamer Mag, huh? Teslia. I love you so much. <laughs> what is this? Welcome to the Lens Island demo. It's a small demo to give you a preview of what it will be like to play Lens Island. There's a lot to do and explore within the demo. We probably included a little too much, to be honest. That being said, there's a whole lot of features and content we are saving for release. There will be crafting, more building, more farming, more enemies, more exploration, chatting to villagers, performing quests, the list goes on. All the areas within the demo are mini levels made for the demo and are not the final levels. Keep in mind, there may be small bugs and issues here and there. If you run into any issues, please leave us a bug report on the Lens Island Discord server. P.S. All the music within Lens Island is made by us. You're free to create videos or stream with the music playing. You will not copyright strike any content you make while playing Lens Island. Thanks for mentioning that. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Andy Hexagon. I'm hearing more and more streamers say, add this to wishlist. It helps the devs. Are these comments sponsored or something? Forgive me, but I'm so suspicious against statements like that and you can't really trust anyone in the game industry to be honest anymore. Andy Hexagon, I totally feel you. Let me make this super clear. I have not been paid, I'm under contract with, or in any way on any business relationship level with any of the demos I've played. No game dev, none of them, have encouraged me or asked me to tell you to wishlist their games. The reason that I say that is because I love video games. I love video game developers doing well. And I know that wishlisting stuff is totally free and actually has tangible benefits to the people doing it. So for the record, I see some people giving Andy shit. He's not, he does not deserve any shit. We live in a day and age where you do have to be careful about this. And as somebody who is a streamer, I know for a fact that not all streamers are honest about what they talk about and what they say they like and, and, and promote. So that's, pretty, that's a pretty fair take, to be honest. And especially if you don't have all the information, we really encourage people to ask questions like that here. So it's totally cool. It's totally cool. Um, so yeah, for the record, I, I I am not sponsored anyway by any of these devs or anything. And um, I'm just, honestly, to be blunt, um, I really, really like that Steam went to all these companies, which I think they did, and, and like encouraged them to make demos for this event. I think they should do this every year. Every single year, I would love to see a bunch of indie devs come together, release a bunch of great demos, and then just have us spend a few days playing all of them. I think it's good for it's good for the devs. It's good for you guys to actually see gameplay and not have to rely on reviews. It's it's good because you can just download and play them for free. Um, I really hope this next best thing is like the beginning of something big. So, yeah, I think it's pretty great. Um, didn't Rami complain about this event? No, I think Rami complained about the fact that it's kind of unfortunate that sometimes devs that don't have a lot of resources have to stop, make a demo, and then not spend that time making the game, which is a completely valid thing to say. I mean, it's 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 a hundred percent, it's a hundred percent up to the devs if they want to participate in this event. They don't have to, um, but you know, it's I mean, that's the thing. Like this this game right here, for instance, if they didn't make this demo, I wouldn't be playing it. I know a lot of streamers wouldn't be playing it. So it's it's a trade. You trade a little bit of production time for a chance for frankly some great free PR. <laughs> so um, you know it's 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 up to devs. It's it's nice for them to have the option, if nothing else. What did I just do? Okay. Options are good. How do I move around? Oh, right click. Okay. Can I use a controller? No, I can't. Okay. The so right click moves us around. Anyway, enough of me jabbering away. Let's do this. Is there a combo system? Oh, I think there is a combo system. So if I... Yeah, there seems to be some kind of combo system. 
Um, okay, pickup is automatic. I like that. If I just spam click. If I spam click, it only stays at three instead of four. So uh, look at here. Wood, fiber, clay, glass, sapphire, light stone. Oh, we can build too. Edit mode, F. Oh, is this, what is this? Okay. This is looking kind of cool. Um, I've got a, can I mine this? That's a plant, don't, what about this? And the timing on that is really tight. I don't seem to have a stamina bar or anything though, so I, I think the only thing that's doing is saving me a little time. Okay. Oh, I got some metal parts. What is this little thing? Glass. Okay. Oh. Wait, what is this area? Who are you? Okay, don't kill him, please. Can I put this away? What's Q do? Oh, it's like a battle roll. What's this stuff? Drag icon to equip. Oh, it has a cost. Okay. Oh, and here's a bunch of other stuff. Corsair Glaive. Knight's Axe. Chop. Oh! Ah! Please, man. Brutal blade. Golden mandrel. Why mine for gold when you can mine with gold? Okay, fair. Angler dangler. If you happen to be in the same room as this weapon, you better hope you're the one holding it. Dark battle axe. Dual blade battle axe powered by dark essence. One side is for chopping trees, the other is for chopping bad guys. Shishin, Shishin. Forged with ancient Damascus steel, Shishin can cut down foes with lightning speed and agility. Okay, okay. That's all this stuff. Oh, all right. Okay. Welcome to the Lens Island demo. Prop critical hits by timing your next attack with a circle marker on your weapon. Remember to save your game at a bed before going on any dangerous adventures. Use a pantry to the right to equip your food items. All right. And they really just kind of drop you into this, don't they? Okay, there's some wood. I don't seem to have a, uh... Do I have, like, a character sheet or something? It's like, it says about eating food, but I don't see any, like... Yeah, I don't... Whoa. Why do we need to eat? Oh, looks like there's a lot of building. Oh, that's cool. There's resources. The okay, foundation needs this stone. Let's get some of this stone. Oh, probably use the right thing here. If I just hold click, does it? No, we have to click every time. Yeah, that's a little. I may want to change that. Have you tried duct tape? I know, right? Yeah, you can see, like, the way that it works is if you click when, uh, if you just click like this, it does three damage, right? But if you time the click right, then I think it does a little bit more. Yeah, 
Yeah, because it does like four for this and six and nine for the other one. <laughs> um. Also, the recovery might be a little quicker, too. What's that? Can't mine it. Oh, here's the player, whatever. Any plans to play my time at Samrock? Already played it. Mine it. No. <clears throat> Can I reduce the volume a bit? Sure. How's that? Actually, I think we should do this. Is that okay? Hey, Shadow Fox, thank you for your sub, dude. Thank you. That was a platformer area? Let's do what now? Platformer? How do you jump? Oh. There is a jump. I need 80 wood here. Um, can I swim? Oh, I can't swim. How much wood do I have? 66. Make, let's fix this bridge. <clears throat> Remove the strange guy in the middle, please. What strange guy? Oh. Are these actual training dummies, or can I break them down? Two hours later. I think it's almost dead, guys. Okay. You know, we could just open them, too. You know what you do, you. Whatever. Are we not going to talk about the skeleton? No? No? Okay. Cool. I think we actually, how much money do we have now? Only 12 gold. Yo, how dark is it going to get? Hmm. you
So is there going to be like stuff we can build? Like crafting stuff? Oh. Refinery. A place to store and equip your tools. A bed, a fireplace, a pantry. Another chair, dining chair, comfy chair. A lot of RP stuff. I don't really see like a workbench or anything though. Huh. Hmm. It is dark. And those reflections are great. Hmm. Oh, there's no crafting yet? Desolation, I have no idea. Good to see you. Did I just piss off some bees? Damn, dude. So I guess in the demo, there's just like building. Is that like a, hold on. Is that a thing? No, it's not. Okay. A lot of rock in here. The only crafting you can do is at the store and the building. Okay. I should probably buy a torch or something. Yo, what is this? Oh, so if we do that, it kind of stuns him a little bit. Oh, that's how we get that dark stuff. Okay, okay. That was only two? I mean, you have to get 50 for that sword? Damn, son. Yeah, I feel like we should see if we can get a weapon or something. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh, my. What is this cell? I'm gonna go over here. Damn, go, go, go. Oh, my lord. Oh, I have made a huge mistake. Um,. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Those are yeah. seem to have killed myself um <clears throat> to save anything no it didn't I didn't make it bad well 
Um, cool. I think this game will be really fun once it has crafting and stuff. It's definitely a good start. Let me. Do, I want to take a quick look at the building before we're done, though. I want to see what that's like. Oh no, that was my fault, dude. That that I should have built a bed and stuff before I went to that. It even said that we were supposed to build a bed. It straight up told us. Yeah. Is there co-op in the game? I don't think I saw a co-op thing. I don't think. I Okay, we need some rock and we need some of that other color thing. Oh, it's stayed night. Can we like spend the night in a bed here? Let's take to make a bed. Oh, just some fiber. Okay, hold on now. It's from these, right? You should really add joystick, joystick controls for walking around. I agree. Yep. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. You have to hold down right click to move, which is very awkward. And then you also have to left click to attack, so it's like you're double clicking all the time with both buttons. It's a little, yeah, it's a little strange. It's a little strange. Oh, they said they will. Cool. Right. All right. Did they say they're gonna have controller support? Out of curiosity. I feel like this game would be really good with the controller. What's the current game we're playing? Lens Island. Keep in mind, any game I'm playing right now, you can just download and play yourself. Like, yeah. So if something looks cool, do that. Do that thing I just said. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is play with yourself. I regret everything. Is it free? Yeah, the demos. Yep, they're all demos. Yep, Lens Island. We've done like, God, what, five, six games today already? Right? a bunch of games today. is a paid demo um i mean i don't think so a demo i mean it's just a demonstration so i think it's rare that you would pay for a demonstration and demos are technically different than early access if you really want to get technical about it so there's a difference there but i don't know I like yeah, yes. Cyberpunk, yes. Valid. Valid. Cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's pretty slick. Yeah, man. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Yeah, you can build some cool stuff with this. It looks like there's windows, doors, small walls, big walls, archways, a lot of different roofing types, balconies. Bay windows. Belvedere. Dormer roof. I mean, you can, you can do a lot of building with this. I don't know if there's any reason to build a big house, but yeah. <clears throat> cool. That'll be fun. That was Lens Island. I, th I think that one has some, uh, some potential for sure.
I, I definitely want to see them like with a I want to see that game with a lot of crafting and you know like a whole bunch of different stuff and I think if there were lots of places to explore and everything that could be really interesting it'd be fun all right